Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about how Dart may become the language to rule them all. All right, so earlier this week, there was a huge event called Flutter Live where the Flutter team made the announcement that Flutter is now out of beta. Now, if you haven't seen the keynote for this, I highly encourage you to take a look at it. It's actually really cool. They were showing you know, the, the typical stuff, creating a Flutter application for Android and iPhone, but also doing desktop apps for Windows and for Linux and for Mac and for Raspberry Pi. And there's a new product coming out, although it's not out yet, called Hummingbird, which you could use to make Flutter Flutter for the web so it could become so if you do need to do a PWA or you need to do um, just a website using Flutter you could so just a few weeks ago I was talking about why I was excited about Flutter and some of the pros and cons and one of the cons was if we do an app in Flutter for a client and then they come back later and say we want a website too then we can't reuse a lot of that code but now with something like Hummingbird we could we could say we got an Android app and an iOS app and um, you know we could do a PWA later if we need to. So it's really kind of exciting. It's not so much the announcements they came out with, it was more the enthusiasm they have for it. But it's got a lot of backing at the moment and a lot of it has a lot of momentum all of a sudden. In fact, just the day before Flutter Live, for the very first time, we had somebody contact us with a with an app that they wanted to have done and they say I'd really like to get this done in Flutter if you have the skills. And it was like the first time I've ever heard a client use the word Flutter. So it's, it, it, is, it is really exciting. I'm, 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 yeah, I think my enthusiasm for it has gone up just to see how much momentum it has. And I think that with Hummingbird and with Flutter, I think that, I think that Dart is going to become the language to rule them all. I mean, because before now, it's been JavaScript. I mean, my, my language of choice has always been JavaScript, or it's been C Sharp and JavaScript, but I, I love coding in JavaScript. Not so much TypeScript, but you know, just never really got into it. But you, the whole thing with TypeScript and, and the later Angular 2 and 3 and Ionic 2 and 3 is all the dependencies and everything, and, we, and we're seeing that a lot with React Native. Things break constantly on the React Native builds, but I'm really hoping that Flutter becomes that makes the whole development process more effortless and it's, got, it's so new that it's going to be the key movers who move on to it. So we're going to have this period where the people who are, who are really getting into it are going to be the, the, the people who are the players in the industry, the, the, the hardcore developers, not the ones because their boss made them do it or because that's where the most jobs are. It's going to be the people who are, are the most interested in it and the, and the most excited about it. And I think, I just think these are exciting times. So and it's something that I've been dragging my feet on the whole Flutter thing up until now, and uh, we really need to get around that. So anyway, I don't really have a lot to talk about today except to say if you haven't seen the keynote and everything, have a look at it. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a lot bigger than we th than I originally thought it was going to be, and I think it's going to be a lot more exciting. And I think the future is going to have a lot more lot more of our attention in the future than it does now. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Did you see it? Are you excited about it? Are you learning it? And uh, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.